What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Smash Cup Media. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the gear I use to turn my shots from looking like this to this. Now this setup you're seeing here is three years in the making. When I first started YouTube, I was using my iPhone for about a year to record. I didn't wanna really invest any money cause I didn't know how far I was gonna go with YouTube. The second year, I decided to invest in my first camera, and that was this DSLR sitting right in back of me there. As you might have guessed it, didn't work out that well. Now it's just on the shelf collecting dust. I really couldn't figure it out. It might have been user error. I really don't know too much about cameras. I tried a few different lenses, different lighting, different shots, different techniques, and it didn't work. And that kind of turned me off to upgrading my gear for a while. So I went back to using my iPhone. So a few years passed, I got a few more channels monetized and decided it was time to upgrade again. Doing my research, I went with the A6400, the Sony A6400, as a lot of YouTubers were using the Sony A-series cameras. So I thought, okay, a thousand dollar camera or whatever I paid for it at the time, all I have to do is take it out the box and point and shoot. I couldn't have been more wrong. The camera comes with a kit lens and it's okay, but it didn't have the desired effect I was looking for. So from there, I bought a 35 millimeter SLR magic lens and I used that for a few months. It worked better than the kit lens, but there was still something missing. So I decided to upgrade again to the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 lens. And I'm glad I did. This is the exact effect I was looking for on YouTube. I mean, I really can't ask for much more than this. The way you're seeing it here, I have no color grading. There was no crazy uh, editing or anything back end. I just threw it into the, the software, uh, Premiere Pro, and exported it. I didn't do anything to it. I could have color graded a little bit, but I just wanted to show you how it looks raw, just like the way it is when I'm shooting. I can't say enough good things about this lens. While this lens isn't the best lens for vlogging, because it doesn't have in-camera stabilization. If you have a 6500, the A6500, it has in-body stabilization, but the 64 and 63 don't. Now, while you can't record, you can't vlog with this lens, it's not ideal. I just know it's shaking a lot right now. But if I do sit down for a still shot, it looks pretty good. As long as the camera's not moving, you're gonna get a real nice shot. So it's not that great if you're gonna be moving around uh, and shooting video, but just doing this right here, if you're in a controlled environment, you can't ask for more. It has autofocus, which is great. Check this out. This goes back and it also has facial recognition. And I know most YouTubers nowadays want a crazy rich depth of field. Check this out. So the lighting's not that great right here. I have the lighting set up that way to shoot where I was just at right now. But look at right in back of me. Uh, I have maybe a good uh, eight to 10 feet in back of me. Um, check, I just have a little lamp back there, but check out the depth of field. If I was shooting on, uh, let me get my camera here. Let's see. Look at that, look at the difference in that. So this one right here, that's my iPhone. And this camera right here is the Sony 6400. Look at that. That's crazy. Let's see if you can get this right here. Focus on that. Wow, look at that. Look at how it just popped right there. So let's see how this handles in low light. Turn all my lighting off here. Kind of looks cool like that. Nah, it's really, it's really dark, but I have it on, right now I have it on 160 ISO. And if I were to bump up that ISO right here, look at that. I have really no lights on right now. The only light I have on is that lamp back there. Right now I'm at a hundred, I'm at a thousand ISO. So, I mean, that looks decent with no lighting. You're gonna want lighting, of course, but just in case you, you're shooting outside or something uh, to where you have low light. So right here, I'm back at 160, which is my preferred ISO when I'm shooting indoors with lighting. All right, so let's go back that way. 
So if you want a more in-depth review on the lens, check out my channel, Smash Cut Gear, where I review all types of different YouTube gear from cameras, lenses, microphones, software, and everything in between. And it might even be linked right here somewhere. So to recap, the camera, Sony A6400, the lens, Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4, and the setting on the camera is 160 ISO. Everything else is default. Check out that depth of field. I'm about four inches away from the camera right now. So if you're looking to upgrade your gear or start a new YouTube channel and don't know which way to go, don't know what to get, you can't go wrong with this combination right here because you have an actual example. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description for the camera, for the lens, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I make videos just like this on how to YouTube. I wanna thank all my subscribers for their continued support. Thanks for watching. Check you on the next one.